everybody so today I'm going to show you how to get a blender and the minecraft rig so first you're going to have to have blender version 2.71 not the newest version which is 7 point or 2.76 so you're going to have to go on to the website to blender.org excuse this let me just take this off and I just learned this yesterday okay so you're going to have to go into the blender website and not do not download this this doesn't allow you to do some things, and I'll show you what that is very soon. Okay, so you're going to click on the download thing. And it's going to take you to the thing where you can download, which is this. And you're going to click on previous versions. And it's going to take you to another page. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And once you're there, you're going to have to click this page. Where it says, see this page, you're going to click on that thing that says this page. And it's going to load you to another page where it has a list of all the... Um, all the what's it called all the um, versions there we go okay so you can go all the way down here you're gonna look for 7.1 uh, which is here um, but I'm not gonna link you I'm gonna put a link to another website or another thing where you can download and actually shows which uh, version you can get um, I'll leave the link in the description um, it's a hundred percent good no viruses so yeah um, see here it doesn't show you which device you can download it to like if it's Windows whatever so I'm gonna leave you guys a link in the description to where you can get the um, download and where it shows which device to download to so yeah and okay once you have that downloaded I mean it's pretty simple you just download it and that's it but I'm not gonna link you to this page I'll link you to another page which um, is pretty simple and easy to follow um, okay, and to download the Minecraft rig, you're going to have to copy this up here, which um, it's a Dropbox file um, to the player rig, which it's not mine, which I found it doing research. I looked up rigs and all that stuff. I tried finding a good one, and this one seemed to do the trick. So I'm going to leave a link to this down below. So simply all you'd have to do is press enter, and it'll download the rig. Of course, it'd be down here. So... Yeah, you just press enter and it'll press it'll show up like on the side right here download or whatever or it'll pop up down here saying download. And right now I do not have or I do have the item rig, but for some reason it doesn't work, but I'll leave it in the description just in case you guys want to try it out because I do not know how to do it yet. Okay, so once you have Blender open and downloaded, you're going to want to add the player rig. So, to in order to down to uh, add the player rig, you will have to go to the file you're going to open and you're going to go to Minecraft Player Rig, um, which is this one, which is the one I just showed you how to do. And you're going to have to go here and click the 3D view. So that's how you show your character. And if you have Steve here, you're going to have to click on the image, uh, change image, or replace image, and then I'll, you can go onto your thing, you know, look for your skin. So mine would be this one. And I already have it loaded and everything, but yeah. And you could basically change it, and that's pretty much it. And in order to get it into a clear um, view, you see how it's blurry? You're going to have to go onto File, you're going to go onto User Preferences, go onto Input, and put the Emulate 3 button mouse in order to um, move the character and such. And you're going to have to go onto System and click on, what is this? I think it says MIP maps. I can't see. I'm blind. Okay, and you see automatically when you click the MIP maps, it actually makes the blurriness go away. So you click that, and it'll make your character good. Okay, and in order to move the characters, um, body parts or whatever, you have to. Well, I'll show you here. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Is it here? No. Is it select? Um. Okay. So I want to show you guys what it is because I already know the buttons, but I want to show you just in case. If not, I'll just tell you. So I think it's probably here, right? Uh, let's see. No, okay. Uh, pose. Okay, there we go. You go to pose. You're gonna go transform, and it'll give you a list of what to use. So in order to move or grab something, you press G. Rotate is R. Scale is S. Um. So yeah. So say, get off this. Say you want to move the arm, I don't know, um, a little bit more to the side, you right click the um, body part. Oh, before you do this, in order to get this to actually move, you have to click on the uh, player amateur, click on the second one, and that's the way, uh, it'll be like this at first, you click on the second one and it'll make it 
uh, colorful and then you can be able it'll make you able to um, move the body parts so you'd right click and then it'll like highlight the thing you'd press R and that will automatically leave you to move the body part you can just click and it'll stop and then you can double click R and it'll make you it'll <laughs> it'll bring it forward back um, you know tilt it do whatever you like so you double click again to stop it or we'll just you know change it so yeah and once you have your character all set up oh and to um, change the what's it called the characters if you want to change the view you press alt and then left click and swipe and it'll change your characters uh, well it'll change the way you see the character and for camera uh oh <laughs> what am I doing um, let's see put this back forward there we go Okay, for the camera, you're going to have to go to, what is it? I think you click on the camera settings, and then you press 0, F4, okay, no, 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 it's not that, okay. Um, here, okay, this is how you render it, to make it a PNG file and not a file with a green or a gray screen in the back. So you're going to have to go on to shading, and where it says sky, you're going to scroll down to transparent. Therefore, when you render it, by pressing F12 it'll be a black background instead of a gray and the black represents the PNG file so that's how you know and that's once it's rendered alright so get off please alright cool I don't have the item rig as I told you guys before so I don't know how to I do not know how to add the items into the player's hand or whatever but once I learn I will make a tutorial on how to do that so yeah alright so what's it called if you want to change the camera you have to right click on the camera, oh not to get this, the right click on the little camera and it'll indicate that it's um, well the, it'll indicate that you have that selected by having it orange then you can press grab and see you can place it down, up, whatever uh, you can press R and you can change it, the angle that way, this way, <laughs> I'm sorry for the background noise, like something's going on outside alright, you can press uh, double click R, you can you know change the way it's angled so you want to see the just the head just the feet whatever um, yeah and then if you press uh, S it'll bring the camera image the camera thingy up or less so say you want just the head you press that and then you know grab and then put it up more then when you render it by pressing F12 once again you'll get just the top portion alright let's put this a bit down just in case I apologize for the background noise I know it's quite annoying Alright, say you want to get the whole body, you press Alt here. Um, let's move this back. Okay, there we go. Move it, okay. So you get this, and then you can click this, you press 0, and you'll get the camera. So say you want to put this down a little, you just use that, and yeah. Um, so that's your character, basically. And uh, you press F12, this is how you save the render. That's after you have it transparent, so make sure you have the camera setting as transparent. Okay, so you're going to press uh, F12, and that will render your character, and you'll click down here to image, and you'll click left click, and then save image as, and you'll just save it, so whatever. Uh, we'll save it as untitled PNG, I think that's already done. No, okay, so then you press save image as, and save it to your desktop so you can like find the best way to find it. Um, okay, so you go down here, and it should be down here, untitled, there we go. And see, it has a black background instead of a gray background, and that indicates that it is in fact a PNG file. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you do a Blender um, edit, rather than my last tutorial where I did the um, edit using uh, Nova Skins. So, it's pretty simple, not too hard. Um, I will say, it is hard... Um, for beginners, so it was hard for me until I actually got the hand of it. Um, but yeah, see, this is the uh, item rig. Um, if you guys know how to change this or how to add the um, just this, excuse me, if you know how to add just the little sword or whatever to the character itself, then can you guys leave it in the comments down below because I don't know how to um, select just the um, like item and then just put it on the character. I'm not quite sure how to do that yet, so. Um, yeah, pretty much I'll leave this in the description as well, just in case you guys actually want to get this. Um, I don't know, leave it in the comments or something if you guys know how to get this onto the 
actual player rig. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, Peace. So today I'm going to show you how to get a Minecraft render the easiest way possible. First of all, you guys are going to have to go to the Minecraft Nova 